pretty little blossom. Hey everybody, welcome back to Growing Organic. And on this episode, we will plant a watermelon seed sprout inside of an eggshell. So first of all, what I'm doing is I'm digging this up. These watermelon seeds are actually sprouting up all over my property because I, I put them in my compost pile. This wild citron, it's called a wild citron watermelon. So I'm taking this butter knife and just going straight down. I'm staying about an inch away and just going straight, straight down. That's just kind of loosening the soil. I want to make sure I'm not cutting the roots. So I'm going down about four or five inches all the way around. So when I pull the root out, it doesn't damage that because I want to uh, maintain the root in there. So before I do that, make sure it stays wet in there too. So I got that prepped. Let's go ahead and put this down. Let's go ahead and get my supplies ready. So first of all, I'm gonna get, I got some eggs here. And I wanna put this plant inside of this egg. So it, I'm gonna set it up vertical like that. I wanna cut off the, or drill a hole in the top of this, this egg here. And again, these eggs happen to be very, really strong. So this is a good type. First of all, I'm gonna set this down. I'm gonna get a piece of masking tape, Let's go like that. What this does is keeps the egg from shattering. I'm gonna drill a hole. So right on the top there. Okay, got another piece. So get a piece about four inches long. This egg is still cold, so it's not sticking very good. Right out of the fridge, so kind of just overlap them like that. Okay, got the egg. Now what I put on here is, this is like an eighth inch, I believe it's an eighth inch a bit right here. There it goes. So you wanna be careful when you're drilling, don't push and then slip and then drill into your hand. I need a hole about this wide. This is a uh, 13 16 diameter. So I'll put that on this drill. Now I, I already actually planted one of these same technique, but the egg happened to crack perfectly right, right across the top. It just cracked right along here. And, and that's what kind of gave me the idea but I don't think I could make it crack again that perfectly, so. All right, I got my bit on here. So I'm gonna carefully, see this is a, it's called a paddle bit. So it's gonna cut a circle exactly that dimension. That'll be enough, perfect size, I think. Go very slow, don't push and vibrate it too much. Um, that didn't work. That just sprayed all over me. All right, let's try another way. That definitely was not a good idea. So that was that was not good. I got it on my my pants and my arm. It basically flung all over the place. All right. So anyway, let me just go ahead and show you guys over here. I dug this. I put the, the knife all the way around kind of loosen this up. Let me show you, this is a watermelon. I'm gonna go ahead and make sure I don't damage the roots. So I'm gonna kind of push, I'm gonna kind of push upward, watch. Right. These are, again, these are extremely vigorous. They overtook my whole garden. I had to pull like hundreds of these out. This is a, it's called a citron watermelon 
take a look at this. Now you can still see the watermelon seed right there. It has a nice root structure already, so I will transplant that into the ground. But now that I'm gonna do another one, I'll try another technique and see if I can get just the top to crack off. But that is what we want right there. So let's go. Sh I'm gonna go show you what I did over here. Okay. Here's the other one. This is a the one I just put in yesterday. So So we got the full egg. I put some soil inside. So I was just um, opening in an egg. I was going to eat it for breakfast and the, the top kind of cracked off. So I had an idea of trying to just go ahead and grow seed inside of it because I had tons of these watermelon seeds growing all through my landscape you can see there's one right here so these little watermelon seeds are are popping up everywhere I've been pulling them out for for probably two months now so I know that they grow really well I am curious to see how long they will survive inside of an eggshell So they do have a little bit of the, um, I left a little bit of the egg remnants in there. So it has almost like a little bit of egg fertilizer at the bottom. Mixed in with a little, some good soil. And I watered it. So I'm just going to set it down over here. Let's see how long this will grow for. I'll probably do a couple more experiments with the, the same egg. So eggshells, I'll get another egg. So I just set it kind of on a little bed of leaves just so it's had something soft all right let's check on this a little bit later it just kind of chipped out naturally so that little circle was just there but I'm going to try to recreate that same thing so I was just hitting downward right on the top and that's kind of slowly chipping it away without cracking it all the way down the side so I'm just going to turn back and forth All right, so I want to get to about maybe half inch diameter. So you can see, I don't want to crack it right there. It's already cracking down the side, so you gotta be real careful. That's probably good enough. I'm gonna go and empty out the egg real quick. Chiseled out the top and took the egg out. I'm gonna go ahead and plant this inside of here. This is a watermelon, so we'll go ahead and uh, Put some soil in, inside of this eggshell, and so I got it filled up. I'm gonna fill it up to about halfway. So let's go ahead and get the plant. Okay, let's try to maintain those roots. All right, let's get this out of the sun quick. I mean, these things are really fragile at this point. Okay, let's go ahead and drop those in without damaging the roots. I'm going to kind of twist so the roots will kind of work themselves in. Kind of hard to do with one hand. Just guide them in. Don't want to damage the roots. Okay, we're in there. Now what I'm going to do is turn off the camera. And fill in that dirt around it right there try to get it down a little deeper you can see the white stem I need that white stem covered so let's go ahead and do that okay I got some dirt around there all the way to the top and once it's like this I want to take a little stick and you're just gonna kind of poke around carefully real carefully around the outside to make sure the dirt is kind of packed in around it so just keep doing this very lightly, pack a little more dirt in.
Okay, you can see I got the dirt packed into the top here. And the key is you don't want to see any of the white stem. These little uh, watermelon plants will have a white stem and, and that's with the part that's underground. So you can see I got it pretty good under there. The roots are about halfway. Now, this thing should do great. Let's go ahead and water this now. I'll get my spray bottle and just spray it down. Keep this thing in the shade, no sun at all, until this thing is rooted. Okay, here we are. Let's go ahead and get our spray bottle. I'm gonna just make sure the, it's kind of cleaned off for starters so it looks nice. I'm gonna kind of spray the actual plant as well. Just kind of spray it off. Okay, spin it around this way. This hose off this side. So I'm also wetting the water is going in inside of there now. You don't need a lot. You don't want to flood it. Remember, there's no drainage on the bottom of this. So it's just you're just gonna be keeping it damp, and uh, that's probably good right there. I think I soaked it, sprayed enough in there too. I'll do a little bit more. That's all fresh soil in there, so I want to make sure. There we go. I'm pretty confident now that that's wet. Let's go ahead and walk, keep the actual plant moist as well. It's in shock. Keep it out of the full sun. And we'll just keep an eye on this. It's all about keeping the, the exact amount of water. If you put too much in here, it'll flood. Not enough, it'll dry up. So. All right, there's a watermelon growing inside of an egg. We'll check on this a little later and see how this, how long it'll it'll grow inside of this eggshell. Okay, let's take a look at these. Wow, this thing's really taken off. There's one watermelon growing inside of a egg. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Let's see how long this stays alive. You wanna, I gotta keep it hydrated, not let it dry out, and yet not flood it with, with water because there's no drainage inside of this. Okay, let's let it keep growing and see how long it survives. I got another one over here too. Let me show, let me show you, show you this one. Let's set that back down. This one's doing good too. Look at that. New growth coming out. So it goes through a little bit of shock at the beginning, but it's doing just fine. You can see this, this egg has no cracks in it at all. You gotta be very careful when you're chipping the top out that you don't crack the, um, the egg. So eggshells take a long time to decompose as well in a garden, so if you ever composted eggshells, you'd, you'll know that um, they take a long time to decompose, maybe a couple years. So it's a lot of uh, calcium and just super strong and dense. So I'm curious to see. We'll keep a check on this and see how long this will grow. Let me show you this plant over here. This is the, uh, again, these seeds are so vigorous that they'll just start growing anywhere. Look at, look at the size of these things. Check this out. We have watermelons growing. Look at that right there, that little flower growing inside of these egg shells here. This plant is getting pretty big. So pretty soon, soon we'll be uh, growing watermelons just right inside of this egg shell. Thing's pretty big. Still, still doing good. Haven't given it any fertilizer or anything. Let's check this one out.
Got to water these about twice a day because they start drying up now. There you go. Simple as that. Growing a watermelon inside of a eggshell. Just keep letting it grow and we will have watermelons soon to eat. All right, let's check this out. Watermelons growing inside of my eggshell. Look at this. Miniature watermelons. Got a bunch of them growing here. Look at this. Look at that growing completely out of the eggshell. Oh, no, I don't want to break it. I don't want to break it. So you can see there, there's the little watermelon. There's the egg. Just put it back down carefully. Don't want to break it. Okay. There's another one right there growing right out of that. So we'll be harvesting some miniature watermelons and having a, a big harvest, mini watermelon harvest. So that'll be a nice, nice breakfast. All right, everybody, thanks for watching. And if you haven't already, smash that subscribe button and we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Pretty little blossom. I think it's cool looking though. Look at the pattern on there, design, very cool.